Yo, hey guys, before I begin with today's video, uh, the first week of the Dark Carnival is up. Um, like, if I didn't make it clear in the video, uh, comment, comment below on week one and tell me, tell me where, and type where you want to go and we'll go from there. Now, since this is just me and not in character at all, I want to talk to you guys about, I want to talk to you guys about something. So, so Dream revealed his face, and normally I wouldn't talk about this. Don't really think the dude's that great of, that great of, like, that great, but, so, everybody's like, oh my god, Dream is ugly, and a bunch of other stuff, and I'm like, and most of the people that are saying Dream is ugly are the same people who are like, I dream sexual. Like, like, people that are just sexually attracted to Dream, I'm like, no, isn't that, aren't y'all just, I mean, that just means that you're just regularly attracted to somebody and Dream's just that person. You know, I have to put extras on it, you just want to bang Dream. <laughs> like, here's the thing, here's the thing, like, I don't think that Dream's, like, Dream's face ain't that bad, first of all. Like, it looks like a regular person's face to me. Like, he, it's all, I'd say it's the fans and other people's fault that hype his face up to be some sort of, like, big thing. It's just a man revealing his face. You know? I revealed my face a long time ago when I first started my channel. So it's like, you know. I just don't see the big deal in face reveals. Probably, probably because I started when YouTube was still kind of, you know, figuring itself out. But it's like, either way it goes. I just feel like, I just feel like, one, it like all you guys that were like clamoring about Dream and y'all don't like him now because he shows his face and y'all saying he ugly. <laughs> y'all saying he's ugly and shit. I'm just like, dude, y'all wanted him. Isn't this all you've ever wanted? And let me tell you why it's probably not. Because y'all hyped him up so much. The moment you saw his face, that mysterious illusion you feel in your heart is gone. You know? He's always been under that mask for a long time, and you're just like, I, 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 you're like, I want to touch him be so mysterious and wonderful, you know? And then, like, when y'all saw his face, you're like, you, you guys are like, ew. And I'm just like, and me, I'm just like, y'all need to stop tripping. He ain't, like, y'all need to stop tripping. He's just regular. He's just, to me, he's just average. Like, I don't know what y'all thought was going to happen. Like, Dream was going to come out looking like Handsome Squidward. Like, I don't know what you guys thought, but, eh. Uh, just looks like a normal person to me, and I'm just like, y'all need to just kind of chill off the man. Because I know, because for some people, revealing their face... Really, their face or having a voice reveal or anything like that is a little bit like it gives them a chance to branch out, but there's a lot of like stress involved in that. So, you know, I don't know. I think for anybody else, I would say the exact same thing because like face reveals and voice reveals and stuff like that are very like stressful for people. And I don't know, I just feel like y'all just roasting him for no reason because y'all finally understand the mystique is over so now you don't feel the same way. All those little fans were calling him out too and I was just sitting there going, y'all lost your ever-loving minds. This is what you wanted. Like, I saw a bunch of Dream fans, like, hype it all up, like, oh my god, we're gonna see Dream's face. Oh, oh. It's just like... I'm just like, bro, really? Like, that's the thing about that's the thing about you know worship, worshiping people like Dream. You guys want to think he's some kind of 
otherworldly being that is that words cannot describe when you actually see his face. But to me, it's like he's just a dude, man. I need to chill. He's just a guy. He isn't some freaking. He's not some Adonis chill, chisel out of Marvel. He's just a dude. Calm yourselves. He ain't worth the anger or, or probably adverse lust effects you're feeling right now. Cause I know some of you. I know some of you out there. I ain't naming names, but I know some of you out there are like, yes, dream, yes. I'm talking about grown at. I'm talking about grown people that are like obsessed with dream. I ain't naming names. You know who you are. You know who you fucking are. You weirdos. But on that note, and on my, and on my, and on my little shitty joke, I shall leave. Also, guys, like I said, oh, I the week one of the Dark Carnival is up. So if you want. So if you want to be a part of this and participate, uh, just comment, just watch the video if you already have, if you haven't already. Look at the, look at the locations at on the descriptions where you want to go. Type it, and we'll move this along a little bit. Peace, everybody, and folks. Let me just say something. You can worship some. You can, you can like. You can be fan of you can be a fan of somebody and worship them and think of them as a god, but at the end of the day, they're just people. They're just people doing their thing, and just because he had a mask on, y'all are just like y'all are hooked on mystique, and now that he doesn't have a yacht tripping, your, some of you guys are really just tripping over nothing. It's I wouldn't even say it's funny. It's just more y'all set yourselves up for disappointment. Nobody else. Nobody else. Peace.